The city of Gresham says changes are on the way for a stretch of road. And this is following two deadly crashes involving minors. The most recent, an 11-year-old boy killed while crossing the street on his way to school by a driver. Police say was impaired at the time. Now that happened earlier this month near Southeast Hogan Road and 5th Street. Fox 12's John Hendricks is in studio with what the city now plans to do. John? Well, Pete and Liz, already the city has put up reader boards telling drivers on Hogan to be careful. On the boards, the dates of the two deadly crashes just two weeks apart. The flowers and memorials line the side of Hogan Road in Gresham. This is kind of an older neighborhood. Uh, we have a lot of kids. They come as a reminder of the lives lost here in the last month. The most recent, January 6, an 11-year-old boy was hit and killed, crossing in the crosswalk on his way to school. A 17-year-old was killed two weeks earlier, riding his bike just a block away. That's heartbreaking for the community. Mark Pearson has lived here nearly a decade, and in that time, he says traffic has increased. The problem that we have with Hogan is you have folks that are just <laughs> driving crazily on it, uh, ignoring speed, um, speed limits and that sort of thing. The city of Gresham says changes are on the way to Hogan Road. Reader boards have already been put up. They are also looking to expand the school zone for Dexter McCarty, just a few blocks away. The city is working with police to increase patrols, among other changes. So we, as a community, just want, it would be great if uh, people would just slow down. The ideas things Pearson and other neighbors are happy to hear are coming. I believe that a higher police presence in the area is going to be wonderful. As I think it's going to accomplish quite a bit. Uh, the fact that they're, you know, considering making it in, increasing that stool zone, that's going to be very good. Those who live here will tell you just how dangerous they feel this road is. Countless stories of close calls as they've walked around their neighborhood. Close calls and deadly crashes they'd like to see come to an end. We really need to be able to come together as a community and uh, take care of this problem. So we're very happy with what they've done so far. Now, in the long term, the city says that they are looking at cost estimates to add a walking path on the east side of Hogan between 5th and 9th. They are also continuing their Safe Routes to School program to educate students and parents how to safely get to and from school. Reporting in studio tonight, John Hendricks, Fox 12, Oregon.